Pali Magic by Rich Mead Medallion. Medallion being by May Sharif out of a Catherston, Jenny Lauriston Clark bred mare. Very attractive horse. Um, Medallion's the sire of many show horses in Australia, very successful show horses as well as sport horses. Barley Magic, one of the, the first, one of the early, from one of the early crops of foals of I Medallion, into the arena in collected canter. Holt, more or less at X, could be a little more direct to trot and not really stepping up that well from behind on the centre line, perhaps spooky. The first of the extended trots. Kylie working to have him up and out to the bridle. And now the trot half pass, firstly to the right. Could be a little more parallel, losing the rhythm there. And in fact, not really on two tracks at all at the end. Now into the trot half pass to the left. Could be a little more bent. Ah, and with the quarters trailing, in fact, probably in counter bend. So um, in the National Grand Prix, we're, we're seeing um, some competitors uh, uh, struggling a little with the the exercises into the rain back, well performed, quarters coming a tiny bit to the right, could be more fluent forward to trot, small hesitation. Now for our extended trot. Accurate transition, again Kylie working to keep the pole hast and nose forward. Transition to passage. Could be a little more active from behind. Now stepping up more under the weight. Slight tendency to come short in the neck. These two things often coming together. The um, biomechanics uh, uh, in action there. And the horse not stepping up that much, often a short neck. Uh, easier to carry the weight of the head when it's uh, closer to the wither. Into the extended walk now. Being quite relaxed. Uh, taking care with the rhythm. One, two, three, four. Yeah, and a little careful here in the corner. And in the collected walk. And small hesitation, just a moment's canter and into the passage. So constantly working on getting him more out to the bridle, getting those hind legs up and under more to carry the weight. The Piaf, well forward, but coming a little short, needs to be more round over the back. Into the passage. This horse has also been ridden by Heath Ryan in Grand Prix. After Anne-Marie uh, uh, competed with the horse to canter, needing a bit more jump, a bit more energy, and off with the two time changes. Fifth change, well positioned at X. And there we go. Again, a little more round over the top line and more through the body, uh, tending to move through with the legs. So we, an, an attractive picture for sure. At this level, there's, there's nowhere to hide any small little technique flaws. Extended canter, coming back, uh, could take more weight on the haunches in the transition to collected. And now into the zigzag. So a little hesitation, can she come out of it? Four, five, six jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six. Getting there, losing the parallelism to the right, could be more bent, especially to the left, but got there more or less. Difficult exercise. 
with collection, the lightness, the mobility, the agility that comes with collection can be a really super exercise, but jolly hard work. So some um, misunderstanding there at first, but now into the ones. The um, requirements of judging are, are clearly laid out and um, unfortunately automatic deductions coming in when there's these little errors. Into the counter pirouette now to the left. Jumping a little together behind and coming up a little short and high. Could be more over the top line. The energy coming from, generated from the hind legs flowing over the top of the horse through to the rider's hands and the counter pirouette to the right. Just finding a way to not really take the weight behind. Perhaps uh, Carly wanting to make it a little bigger, but Bali Magic uh, taking things into his own hands there and escaping a little from the collection into the extended trot. Down the center line, the passage. Piaf didn't miss a beat uh, with the transitions, but could step more under the weight from behind. A little more push from behind and stepping under the weight to carry more. And the final halt. So we're now coming to the end of the National Grand Prix. Uh, three competitors still to go. At 5.40, the World Cup final Grand Prix will begin. We have nine horses in this class.